guys, welcome to my channel. So today I created this look right here, which is my take. If I was in a Tim Burton movie, I feel like this is how I would look. And I know that there's a lot of controversy around Mr. Tim Burton. I'm not going to get too much into that. But we are all beautiful and all deserving of whatever we want. So I'm just going to leave that there. So, if you do want to learn how I got this look, then please keep watching. And, if you're excited for all of my Halloween videos to come, then subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so you do get notified when I do post those videos. And, yes, I just hit my background. If you want to see me create this and if you want to learn how I got it, then please keep watching. Alrighty, so I'm starting out with no foundation, obviously, as you guys can tell. I'm taking that Huda Beauty and just dabbing it. Wow. Some of these are really light. Okay, so I'm just going to keep blending that. Um, it's going to take me a while, so I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, so it's blended in. As you can see, I have it all over my chest. Now I'm going to go ahead and take that e.l.f. concealer in the shade Warm Fair and I'm just going to add it here. Our ears are probably going to be covered so I'm just not going to put makeup on my ears. Even though I would normally say if you're really changing your skin tone like this to put it on your ears as well so you don't look crazy. But we're not doing that right now. If it's not blended perfectly it's honestly okay because a lot of Tim Burton's Makeup is a little bit messy on the characters, so if it's a little messy looking or not completely blended, I feel like it adds to the effect, so just do you. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it like this. Again, it's not super well blended in or anything. I'm going to go ahead and take my Juvia's Place Saharan Powder. Kind of set everywhere this slightly has like a, a yellowish tint sorry a lot of my powders do just because of my skin tone but it'll be fine we're basically gonna bake our entire face down our necks and do my whole forehead just because they have like very dry looking skin alrighty so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe all of that off. I'm sorry if my dogs keep barking. They're very dramatic right now. So now we're going to go ahead and start contouring. Alright, so I have this <laughs> Butter Collection palette from Physicians Formula. This is kind of the most cool toned shade I have. I believe this is in Deep Bronze. And I'm going to go ahead and just bronze up these cheeks a bit. You know what? This challenge that I'm doing is to make myself into a Tim Burton. So I don't need to be like gray colored because I'm not gray. I am olive skin tone. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it down my cheeks like this. That shape. And for the nose, with that same bronzer... And I'm going to contour from the eyelid down the bridge of the nose and back up into the eyelid and into the brow. So like that. I'm not good at nose contour, so don't, don't judge me. Alright, and now I'm going to take some contour and bring it up in my brows. And I'm going to be doing like this little shape right here. Just because we're going to do like the side eyebrows. I'm going to take that same shade. And I'm going to start blending that into my crease. But not really in my crease. I'm going to blend it above my crease a bit. Kind of in that brow bone area. And I'm going to go over this with like a more gray tone. But again like I said. Any skin tone should be able to do this. And I personally have like very warm skin. And... If I'm turning myself into a Tim Burton, I'm not going to look a completely different shade. So, okay. 
gonna go ahead and bring this in so when I go like 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 this you can kind of see the bottom of my eyeball like the bottom socket of my eyeball I'm gonna go ahead and go over that with the contour so like that okay so that is the vibe right now I'm gonna go ahead and add some more contour just with a small brush where we want it and then I'll blend it out and now I'm gonna contour the lips so I'm gonna go underneath the lip I'm gonna go above right here with a smaller brush I'm gonna contour the little area right here I'm dragging out my lip. So I'm going to go into my Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. I'm going to go ahead and grab Dusty Rose, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to grab that same brush that we are using on the eyes. And I'm going to just go over all of those spots. So I'm just going over that same area that we just did, just with this Dusty Rose shade. And I'm going to get that inner part like that and now I'm going to really blend that because obviously it looks a little crazy and intense right now alrighty so that's kind of blended out now again doesn't have to be perfect just doing like a big old circle around the eye at this point like that amazing now we're going to work on the details of the eye. So I'm going to go ahead and take this little fat, flat brush. And I'm going to take the shade. I'm going to take this shade right here from the James Charles palette. It's kind of like a more cool toned brown. And I'm going to create a lower lash line. And just do it right under eye like this okay and then I'm gonna grab a bit of this white shade right here on my finger and I'm gonna put that on my eyelid okay now I'm just gonna do the eyebrows real quick because I didn't do them before so I'm just gonna take my NYX eyebrow pencil and I'm going to kind of add some hairs going up right here to make that sad look. And then just kind of fill in any gaps of my actual eyebrows. So you don't want to fill in this bottom part. So normally I would draw like a line from here. I'm going to start it as if my eyebrow starts up higher, like right there. And now... We're going to get into the part that's a little more scary. So I'm going to go ahead and take this NYX Eye Crayon in the shade Milk. And I'm going to go ahead and line my lower lash. And I'm going to just keep going over that for a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, so with a little brush, wow, this looks really bad right now. I'm so sorry, guys. With a little brush, I'm going to go ahead and just blend that white into everything. For the bottom lashes, you want to bring it more in a U shape rather than a straight across shape because you want the eye to look more rounded. So like the part that I'm going to drag down the most is in the center and on the rest of it I'm not going to drag it down as much. I literally look, I look like I'm on drugs to be completely honest. From this James Charles palette, I'm going to mix these two shades right here. And go over that white. Now I know you're like, wait, it's supposed to be white. No, because my eye is not even that white. So I'm just going to kind of go over that with this shade. And then I'm going to end up blending that in a little. I'm going to go in with this shade right here, the Butter Bronzer. And just kind of diffuse that edge a little. So that is the effect I'm looking for. 
Now we're going to focus on the upper lashes so I don't look crazy. So I'm just taking a black liquid liner. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way. Oh no wait. Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I'm going to make it very thin. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara on my top lashes. And now, what we're going to do for the lower lashes, since we're not going to apply mascara on the entire lash, I'm literally just going to graze the top of the lashes. And you will see that in a second. So, I'm going to go ahead and come close, and I'm just going to hit the tips of my lashes. So literally just the very tips, you want the base to stay white. So I'm going into my Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm going to take the Bon Fresco. This, this shade right here. And I'm going to add that on my under right here. And then I'm going to kind of create... A bit of a exaggerated dark circle right here okay and now I'm gonna go ahead and throw in just a pair of lashes and I'll be right back okay so the lashes are on now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add little lines like this kind of behind my natural lashes and now lips I'm gonna first go in with a gray toned um, lip liner in strip down it's MAC strip down lip liner I'm gonna create a big round upper lip I'm gonna bring it down and attach it to my natural lip line so on the sides that's my natural lip line and then I'm going to do the same thing underneath, kind of create a rounder bottom lip. And then I'm going to take that liner and go over that contour that we did. And now I'm going to go in with a pinkish shade, which is the shade, it's by NYX Professional, it's in the shade Whipped Caviar. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that on the inside of my lip okay so that is it for the makeup now I'm just gonna kinda figure out my hair situation because I don't even know what hair they would do alrighty guys so this is the completed look I really really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and get excited for my next videos coming up for the rest of this Halloween season and I will see you guys then.